Reading fluency is an individual's ability to effectively, efficiently read through a text and comprehend it at the same time. For our dyslexic learners, sometimes this can be difficult, so it's an area we really want to focus on and give them practice in. It's important that they're not only able to decode a word, we want them to be able to do so effortlessly. For our dyslexic learners, because fluency is often initially a struggle for them, they also have a difficult time internalizing some of the grammatical expectations we would have of pausing at a comma, stopping at a period. So providing structured, explicit practice in all of these areas is incredibly important. Many times a student works so hard to decode that they're not as fluent of a reader and then they can lose meaning in the text that they're reading. When a student reads something and it's the first time they've ever seen it, they're reading it cold, they're starting fresh. A hot read is what they read after repeated practice and the goal is to see an increase in accuracy and improvement in inflection and paying attention to punctuation. So we might start with a student hearing a short, controlled text that they can then read repeatedly over the course of a week, and then they're able to specifically focus on building their fluency. So we'll take this sentence. I don't want to go to the party. And we can listen to this through our immersive reader, so you can hear how she read it. Another technique for building fluency is working on the inner narrative. You could say it mad. Go for it. I don't want to go to the party! Okay, I need to hear that from everybody. I, I don't, don't want to go, go to the party! So that a student can read dialogue, and they may read that line of dialogue repeatedly with different emotions or different voices, and it helps with their expression and their comprehension. Ugh, I don't want to go to the party. I love it. And listen to that sigh at the beginning. That is expression. Let's do it. Ugh, I don't, don't want to go to the party. Sounds like your parents have dragged you to parties before that maybe you don't want to go to.